for week five of the 2022-23 season, the Ohio Valley Conference got a treat as the Gallia Academy Blue Devils took on the Portsmouth Trojans. Going into this game, both teams were undefeated for conference play and the outcome of this game would turn the tide of the title conference run. Heading into the first quarter, the Blue Devils' Hudson Chandler was able to give his team the early lead, but the Devils could not capitalize on the extra point, making it a 6-0 lead. But the Trojans would not make this easy. Minutes later, Tyler Duncan was able to get the first score of the game. For the game, Duncan would throw for 197 yards and give the Trojans three touchdowns. At the end of the first quarter, the Trojans were leaving the Devils 7-6. But Portsmouth would not stop there. Bu Haman would capitalize on a pass from Tyler Duncan to extend their lead in the second. Late into the second quarter, Brady Feller was able to find himself in the end zone on both a Blue Devils touchdown and two-point conversion. Minutes into the third quarter, Noah Highland would get a 33-yard pass to find himself in the end zone. With eight minutes and seven seconds left in the third, Hudson Shannon was able to squeeze into the end zone on a three-yard run. At the end of the third quarter, both teams had 21 points apiece with no sign of who was getting the upper hand. But Gaia Academy would not let up. With the 53-yard run by Brody Feller, he was able to get the Blue Devils another score. But with tremendous defense by the Trojans, Guy Academy was not able to get the extra point. Less than four minutes ago in regulation, Hudson Chandler was able to give the Blue Devils another score after a critical turnover by Portsmouth, making a 33-28 Blue Devils lead. But with time still on the clock, the Trojans are still able to score on their final drive of the game with a one-yard pass to Reedy Pendleton making it a 33-34 Portsmouth lead. To Gaia Academy, they need something short of a miracle, and that is exactly what they received. With 9.6 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter, Caleb Stout was able to give the Blue Devils a game-winning 31-yard field goal attempt to give Gaia Academy the win. After this win for the Blue Devils, Gaia Academy goes to 5-0 on their season and is now 2-0 in conference play.